Hey guys, Rock Eastwood here. So I've been contemplating lately a scenario where you have to leave your home, leave your stuff behind, but you should bring one or two of each item that you're gonna use as you're gone for a deployment. Let's call it a deployment. So leave my stuff in the house, my main house, and then move somewhere for a year or two. As an outdoorsman, what gear would I bring with me? As you know, if you've been following the channel, I have a huge collection of, you know, 12 tents and too many backpacks to name, uh, stoves, just everything that any outdoorsman would have, any hiker, any camper, you know, bushcraft. You only can bring a certain amount of things, so it's kind of a Noah's Ark situation where you only can bring one or two items. So starting that series, I'm gonna start with tents. I've been thinking about backpacks also, but that's not this video, we'll get to that, but like the Hill People gear um, bag here, this is in contention of one of the bags that I will bring with me for sure. But today I want to talk about tents. If you had to bring one tent with you, what tent would it be? In my scenario, I'm thinking that I would probably bring... Oh, I know what tent I would bring. I have it in here, and I'm going to show you. So, if you had to ask yourself what tent in the world you would bring with you, leave in the comment what you think you would bring. It all depends on what kind of camping that you do, or hiking that you do. Do you need to be ultralight, or are you going to be doing car camping? For me, I'll probably be doing a little bit of both. So, and I only can have one tent, so it's gotta be the in-between range. And I definitely don't want something heavy on the trail. So the tent I chose will be the Light Fighter tent. Light Fighter. If you're not familiar with Light Fighter, they are a great, you've made in USA brand. Um, so I'm going to set this up and show you why I choose it. What's the reason why I would choose the Light Fire tent over many others? You know, again, if you watch my channel, you know I have the MSR, Hubba Hubba, NX2. I have many Snowbeak tents. I have many uh, tent mark design tents, um, tarps, Snow Peak tarps, regular tarps, DD tarps. But I think out of all of them, this is the in between. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. I want to say it's about 3.5 pounds, maybe. But the size is great. It's got molly on it, so it'll uh, strap to the bottom of a backpack. This, to me, the Light Fighter tent is going to be the one out of all the gear I choose, which one I'll take. So I'm going to set this up. I'll show you why. If you're not familiar with Light Fighter, you probably are. But this is a lot of the tents that the tactical people wear, use, firefighters use out in the field. Uh, I believe, I'm not positive on this, but this might be the Marine Corps tent, current Marine Corps tent. Yeah, let's set it up and I'll show you why. This is the tent I've chosen out of all my collection. Basically, you got the main tent here, the footprint, stakes, and the tent poles. I'm not going to set up the footprint today because I'm not actually camping, but I'm going to set up the rest of the tent. Here is the Light Fighter logo if you're unaware. And also, this is a new tent for me. I haven't set it up, still got the tag on it. So, Light Fighter. Basically one large piece you put together. As you can see, it's a very small, as you can see, it's a very small basic tent, easy to set up. Just the way I like it, fairly light, three pounds-ish, three to four pounds. I'll throw the fly on there, but it literally took me about two minutes to set that thing up. That's the way I like it.
Very simple, easy, lightweight design. Um, again, just the way I like it. Let's check it out. So here it is with the cover on it. It's got two doors either side. Size is good enough for me. I'm 5'9", about 200 pounds. Let's see. Works in there great. So I was just saying, out of all the tents I own, this is probably the one that I will take with me. Actually, I'm sure this is the one I will take with me. Do you approve of that? And let me know if you were doing a Noah's Ark situation, you had to go through your tents or tents you would like to have. What's your all-time favorite tent? The one tent you would like to have with you on deployment if you had to leave everything behind and uh, grab your favorite gear. To me, the light fighter, one-man tent, that's what I would take with me. So let me know in the comments what you would take. And uh, one final thing I wanna address is Rock Eastwood. I apologize, I changed my name many times, many iterations, uh, Rock, East, Rock Eastwood Outdoors and uh, in Japan outdoorsman or in in Japan outsider or uh, my outdoor odyssey whatever forget about all those I was just trying to find myself you know over the years finally we're just gonna stick with Rocky Eastwood I'm Rocky Eastwood there's no other Rocky Eastwood I'm Rocky Eastwood I'll always be Rocky Eastwood so thanks for always watching my videos I really appreciate it and uh, catch you on the next one Rocky Eastwood out out